Hi, welcome to this tutorial. This one we're going to look at WordPress again, but we're going to look at how you create hyperlinks, how you make a, a web address so you click it, it will open the web page. So let's look at a post. Here's a post or a page. It could be either of them. If you can see here, I've got my web address. Okay, but you'll note I can't click on it. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't take me to there. And obviously, I want it to take me to my website. So let's have a look how we do that and the different ways of doing it. Right, so here we are. We've gone inside the post to have a look at this. And we'll look at three different scenarios. So the first one's here. I've got a web address and I want to make that web address live. So when I click it, it takes me to that website. So quite simply, all I have to do Select it, right click, copy it. Come on to here, I've got two paper clips. Insert edit link, remove link. We obviously want to insert edit link, so we're going to click that. The URL is the where destination we want it to go to, which in this case is a website. So we're going to click paste. Because we highlighted the text, it's already pre formatted the text and put it into the box for us. And we had to copy it and highlight it to paste it, so it made sense to leave it highlighted. This window here says open link in a new window. What that means is if I click that, it will open it in a new tab up here. It will take me away from my website. Now, if I was going to do a link to a third party website, someone else's website, I would definitely have that. But if I'm doing a link within my own website, so it's just going to take me to another page, I wouldn't have that one done. To finish off, all I've got to do is push Add Link. It's now gone blue, highlighted, underlined. Now that doesn't matter the colour it's gone here because the formatting on the website may be totally different. So let's update that. Okay, let's have a view. You can see now. I haven't formatted it particularly in this site, so it's going to stay blue, but it's a hyperlink. The hand, the I for the text changed to the hand, which means we know it's a link. So if I click that, it will take me to my website. Great, so that's one option. Now, I don't particularly like that option. I do not like to see web addresses on my website like this. I'm not keen on that at all. So there's a third, oh, well, a second option we can look at, okay? So what we can do is we can highlight text, okay? So we've all, we need to have our link somewhere, just so we can copy and paste it, so I can copy that, okay? And we could delete this afterwards, we don't need this. We could just have type it in manually, we could have it in a Word document elsewhere. I've just put it here just for demonstration purposes, okay? Now we're going to highlight some text, so I'm going to do this text here, okay? Same again, I've highlighted the text, but I've already copied my link. Paperclip, paste the web address, okay? The text was already there. I'm not going to do an open new window. I'm going to click add link. So that was multiple words. I can do the same with a single word. So highlight it. I've still got the web address in my browser, okay? Link, edit, paste, add link. There. So either of those words would now work as a link to my website. Perfect. And now obviously what I do now is I would delete this. One thing to point out here, I've done this as www dot without, as I did up here, the HTTP. Today it won't matter which way around you do it, both of them will work. It's absolutely no problem. Right, the next one which is a common thing to do is you may want to make a link to someone else's website. So you've written a story about someone and you think actually it wouldn't hurt for me to have a link to that person's website. I will let you go there. Okay, obviously you're not going to do it if it's going to cause you um, any detriment or you're going to lose business. But if you're pretty sure that this would be good for me, tell them you've done it. Maybe they'll do the link back. But if not, links going out to relevant content is not a bad thing. Everybody thinks you just want links coming into your website. It's a two-way streak. You need some going out and some coming in. And you also need some 
from your post or your page going to another page within your website. So as well as the navigation, it's a good idea that every single page has one word or one phrase somewhere that is a hyperlink to another page within your website. Okay. So let's look here. I've got some text here and I want to make something into hyperlink. So we're going to have here the mu music player. Okay. Because it's, uh, it's about an event this particular person did. And I want you to go to her website and have a look at her music player. So let's use music player. Okay. So first thing I need to do, I actually don't need to highlight the first. I need to get her web link. So here's a web link up to the top. Copy because that's the page I want to go to. So I've now got that copied. Come back down to here. I'm going to re-highlight that. I could have left it actually. Music player is highlighted. I don't click. I don't do anything. I just highlight it. Okay. Insert edit link. Paste. This time I'm going to open in a new window because when you click on this link, I don't want my website to disappear, but I'm happy for this person's website to open in a new tab. Okay. And the link text there was automatically because I highlighted it. So add link. And we're going to do it again. Let's do a single word. Okay. Let's use the word website in this case, just to prove the system works. We already have the address ready. Click hyperlink or insert link, paste, new window, add link. Okay, simple, simple as that. I want to look at two last things very quickly. Let's say accidentally I highlighted the word the, I went to insert link, the came up there, paste. Now, one thing, if I change that, it will change the text on my website. Okay. So I'm going to show you. There you go. It added that text in. Well, that's not what I want. And in fact, I don't even want any of that. So what can I do? First thing I could do is I could type over it. You must be inside it when you try and change it. So if you click at the end, it doesn't always work. So I can change it like that. So it's now there. So that would work perfectly fine. Or, you know, what? as I said, it was a mistake. I didn't want this word. So click on the word, come up to here, rather than this one, we can use this one, remove link. And it's going to do exactly what it says. It's going to remove the link. Link is no longer there. Okay. So let's update this. Nearly updated. Okay. And let's look at one more. We're going to do this money there. Okay. So. Thank you for looking um, at my hints and tips. Go to, okay. Now, no text, no links. I'm going to hit it, insert link. Nothing's here. So I'm going to enter the web address. In fact, it's going to come up here. So I'm going to just select it. Text. So thank you for looking at my hints and tips. Go to creative web creations for more. Okay. Let's sort that out. Okay. I don't want to open a new window. I'm going to click add link. So there you go. It created it without having to do highlighting it all copy and paste the link first, but obviously it's easier if you copy and paste the link, put in into it first for you. Okay. So those are the various different ways that you can create hyperlinks within, um, WordPress. It's exactly the same on a page or a post. Okay. And finally, now let's view the page. And we can see what the links are because they're all in the blue. So let's go to my page, Creative Web Creations. So it's just words, but it's clearly a live link, takes you to a live website. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope that helps. Any questions or comments, add them in the boxes below. Bye bye.